Before photographs and film, explorers in the Age of Enlightenment brought back the skins of exotic animals to show the public back home, which taxidermists then stuffed. Although the practice was developed in the 18th century, taxidermy is still used today in science and art. I tried my hand at stuffing at an academy in Islington. How to stuff a mouse. First, select your mouse. No, they're, they're quite similar, really, aren't they? Oh, yeah, maybe that one. Part the fur on its chest, feel for the sternum, and slice the skin down from there. You should all have, you should all have a mouth, mm -hmm. and three bits of string, and a little bit of wire. We have things like these, but yeah. it's, it's like a be fun. Okay. No one's shot of anything. Yeah. A, there should be a couple of extras. Yeah. <laughs> Turn the mouse inside out from its bottom. What is the two legs, which you'll see on the inside here. Oh. That's them on both sides there. And with your fingers... Cut the legs off at the knee. So just chop them off. <laughs> you can chop your paws off. Pull the skin over the head. It's, it's, it's tricky, but they're really fiddly. Yeah. 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 Put it down to the, the front legs, just gruesome body away if you like, yeah? You don't need to keep that, so... God, I want to get rid of it. Oh, just ruined his eye. Oh, okay, that was a good crunch. I ran mine's eyes too. Let's see something from my trim. Wash the skin. There's a lot of people who use like tassel shades for white mice and stuff. And do you want to push your sleeves? I might just take off my glove. You're going to get a bit of meat off it. And that's good. Well. Yeah, so that you're washing yeah. through all, all of its fur. Blow dry. Just until the fur is dry, you don't need to worry about them being sticky on the other side. Museums tend to be a bit serious, so this is sort of Derek like Frampton is an award-winning professional taxidermist who works for the Natural History Museum at Tring. Derek stuffs animals for museums, hunting trophies, and even for Heston Blumenthal's theatrical gastronomic feasts. At quite an early age, I was about 12, I used to be mad on drawing and painting. Um, anything really and um, I picked up a dead bird on the way home from school and I was quite fascinated that you could open its wings and look at the parts that you couldn't normally see on a bird and um, so I took it home and positioned it and drew it in various poses then after about a week it began to smell <laughs> so my mum told me to get rid of it. Taxidermists have an intimate knowledge of the anatomy of animals and can apply this to species that are no longer roving the earth. For example, Derek is currently creating a model of a dodo for the Natural History Museum, based solely on contemporary drawings and bone fragments. They, they use them for teaching aids for children, and also they let the children handle them, which is apparently popular, but um, they don't feel anything like an animal. <laughs> Occasionally do do get bits for films and you get all sorts, <laughs> you know, you never know what you're going to get next, you know. In the days when travel was limited to the very wealthy, taxidermy was the only way many people could see some of these animals, much less study them so closely. An example of how taxidermy can go wrong when the craftsman has never seen the animal before is the overstuffed walrus at the Horniman Museum in London. So they, they were just literally packed out because no one knew how the folds of skin lay because they didn't have photographs of them. In the professional taxidermy community, respect for the animal is the main priority. Now, back to my attempt to reform a mouse. Use wood wool and wire to form a mouse shape. Now you want to make it quite tight, not too loose and spongy. Kind of have what is basically the size of the skull. So if you have a look at the skull that you've taken out, 
then you should hopefully have something similar in size. Stuff your mouse and sew shut. Start stitching them up, and then as you're moving further down, then you can add a little bit okay. more kind of shape and a little bit further down. Pin to desired position and leave to set for a few days. Keep pinning his little cheeks up. Yeah. yeah. So, I just want to ask you, mm -hmm. my ears, I didn't know if <laughs> Yeah, it looks alright. Uh, do I just put it like this?